Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update uh, from the Potava region. So uh, there is a report uh, by the Ministry of Defense of Russia. They say that air defense, air defense facilities shot down a Sukhoi 27 of the Ukrainian Air Force and uh, in, the, in the location of Postkalivka. And this is very unusual because uh, for a surface to air missile uh, to hit an aircraft this far away from the border we are talking about a range of maybe 150 kilometers even 200 kilometers away it could be a s300 or s400 that's shooting down the, the ukrainian plane and this is extremely unusual because ukrainian planes don't really fly that high uh, which allows the surface to air missiles like s300 or s400 to uh, detect and shoot them down and uh, this could be uh, a direct result of uh, the Ukrainian side trying to use uh, the fighter jets to actually shoot down uh, drones. So the Russians have been sending a lot of uh, those suicide drones, especially the Shahid, uh, Shahid drone. And um, this is the Shahid drone, Shahid uh, 136 drones that are uh, against the Ukrainian side. And, uh, and not just that, also the cruise missiles. So the Ukrainian the defense ministry themselves has reported that they are using uh, fighter jets, especially you know this MiG-29 that was uh, reportedly crashed due to its operation in trying to shoot down uh, drones and uh, missiles and cruise missiles. And uh, but to shoot against cruise missiles and drones, if the cruise missiles and drones are flying at a much higher altitude, then uh, all these planes, these fighter jets, will have to fly a higher altitude as well, and this will put them into a precarious you know or, or or a not safe situation where they have to fly way higher to, to into the range of s300s and s400s and this shootdown of sukhoi 27 uh, is rather concerning and there is unreported uh crashes or shootdowns of ukrainian planes as well uh came coming out uh uh in the uh, the social media where there are footages of uh, the wreckage of a ukrainian Su sukhoi 24 mr appearing and the head of the local administration of potova actually reported that uh, these planes are lost in the past two days he did not report on the details but uh, there are videos and photos of the crash aircraft and uh, some some identify one of the crash photos as sukhoi 27 uh, which is so which is you know uh, quite concerning because all these are within Potova region and uh, this is a some sort of a corroboration that the possibility of uh, S-300s or S-400s starting to shoot down Ukrainian aircraft deep within the Ukrainian territory because Potova is right in the middle of Ukraine uh, or at least right in the middle of uh, eastern Ukraine so this is not a good sign and uh, not just that, pro-Russian sources also mentioned that uh, the, the, all these aircraft are also getting shot down by Russian Air Force because the, the Russian uh, MiG-31 have pretty long-range surface to air missiles and uh, there's a MiG-29 that was shot down over Dnipro uh, at the uh, Shoveni uh, Zaroporzet. So this is, uh, this is on top of all the shot shootdowns that was reported all across uh, Ukraine. Uh, no good. So the situation is not good for the Ukrainian side. So anyway, uh, this is the quick update from the Potova region and I'll see you in the next update.